let's create a flexible collectible system. All the code is in the description below. You can also get my 2D water system and the moving platform system, all for free. I've got a simple scene here with a player character and a gem which has a sprite render and a trigger box collider. I've also got a header that just shows text for how many gems and diamonds the player has. There are many ways to create this system, but I prefer to use interfaces. So we're going to have an eye collectible interface. And then we're going to have a gem class which is going to implement this interface. And it's also going to be responsible for playing sound effects and particle effects and for triggering the on gem collected event. You can have as many collectibles as you want. They all have to implement the eye collectible interface. They can all handle their own sounds and particle effects, and they all have their own individual collection events. Next, we need a way to track how many collectibles we have and update the UI. For this, we're going to use a collection manager who's going to listen to all of the various collection events. And whenever an event fires, he's going to keep track of the count of the collectibles, and he's going to update the UI. And finally, we need a collector class, which is going to register when the player collides with a collectible. So when the player touches a collectible, the collector will call the collect method on it. Let's say it's a gem, then it will play some particles, disappear, and trigger the on gem collected event. The collection manager is subscribed to this event, so he updates the number of gems and updates the UI. Okay. Let's code this. First, let's create a new eye collectible script. We're going to remove the start and update functions using Unity Engine and the mono behavior. We're going to replace the class with interface and we're going to create a public void collect. Now we can create a gem script. We again remove the start and update functions. We add our interface and we implement the interface by creating the collect method. We simply log to the console and destroy the game object. Next, we create the collector class. Again, we remove the start and update functions and create the on trigger enter 2D function. We grab the eye collectible interface on the object we collided with and we store it in a temporary variable. We make sure it's not null and if it's not, we call collect on it. Note that this is much more elegant than using tags because if we use tags, we would have a bunch of if else statements here. For every new collectible, we would have to add a new tag and also create a if statement here. But this way, we don't really care what it is, we just call collect on it. We attach the gem to the gem and the collector to the player and we test it out and you will see that the message gets logged and the gem disappears. Next, we create the collectibles manager script remove start and update, import text mesh pro and create two variables, one for the text and one for tracking how many gems we have collected. Then create a gem collected method, which is just going to increment the number of gems and update the text. Now we need a way to trigger this method and for that we're going to use events. Back in our gem class, we're going to use system and we're going to create a public static event action on gem collected. We make it public so that we can access this variable from the outside, static so that we can access this variable without creating an instance of the class. Event just means we're creating an event. Action just means that it doesn't take any parameters. Finally, we invoke this event so that everyone who is subscribed will be notified. So in our collection manager, we want to subscribe on enable. We do this by accessing the gem class then accessing the on gem collected static variable and we tell it to fire the gem collected method once this event is triggered. A good rule of thumb when working with events is to unsubscribe on disable. And that completes our basic code. Assign the collectibles manager, assign the text reference, press play and test it out and you will see that the number of gems increases. Finally, I want to show you how you can create more collectibles. In this example, I'm using diamonds. You simply add the interface, you create a custom event and you triggered the event. Then in the collection manager, you create a variable to track this collectible and a reference to the UI. You create a method that updates the UI and the number of collectibles. You subscribe and unsubscribe to the event and that's it. I put a lot of effort into these videos, so if you like them, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks.